Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to see how we can rename and move a default database on our Exchange Server 2016. By default the Exchange database is created inside the C drive which is not a best practice. So it is highly recommended to move your database to a different location. So let's move on to our server and see how we can rename and move our default database to a different volume. So now we are on our exchange server. This is a freshly installed exchange server and it is recommended like before creating any user mailboxes you should rename your database and move it to a different location. So let's open exchange management shell and let's see where the database is located right now. This is a default installation so it would be inside the C drive. So let's see get mailbox database so to check the database path and name you have to type this command like get mailbox database fl name edb file path and log folder path and let's hit enter now it shows like the name of the database is mailbox database 00936962 why it is necessary to rename because this is a this is a mailbox uh, database name so it would be hard to remember this number sometimes so it would be easy if we rename it like a mbdb1 or mbdb01 like that and this is a path for our edb file and the path for log folder is this if you want to see it in a graphical way you can just navigate to c drive program files Microsoft Exchange Server v15 mailbox and here it is the mailbox database you can see the number 0093 and this is the same number and here you have your EDB files here it is a EDB file so first we will rename this and after that we will move our database to a different location for that I have created a two different volume in my computer like you can see the new volume F and new volume G and they both are empty right now and it is also good to keep your data in a different uh, drive volumes because it would be good to take a backup of a complete volume because you can take a backup of a complete volume and your only exchange data is there and it will reduce your time while taking a backup of your exchange so let me quickly create some folder inside my volume like in a F drive I will keep a database and I'll create a folder the name is mbdb1 and inside this we will keep our database and here we will keep our log folder so I'll create as a that's fine so we have a db1 for a log folder and we have mbdb1 for a database edb files so let's rename the database first for that we have to run this command like set mailbox database and now the name of the mailbox database is 6247 and I will name it mbdb1 and hit enter now the mailbox has been renamed and let's run the same command and let's see now you see the database has been renamed to a mbdb1 but the edb file path and the log folder path are in a c drive so now let's go and move our database to a different drive so for that we have to run a move request and we can just type this is a, a path to move folder and let's hit enter so uh, while moving the path it will take some time like it will dismount the database and it will move to a different location and then again it will mount to the database so it can take a bit time it depends on the size of the database you have so it's moving the database file 
it's asking to confirm it and the confirmation was done and it's moving the file path of the database mbdb1 restoring the database so it will take a bit time now I ran the same command like get mailbox database fl name edb file path and log folder path and now you can see the name of the database is mbdb1 edb file path as inside mbdb1 like mbdb1.edb and the log folder path inside gmbdb1 and here you can see inside the f drive we have a edb files so inside this mbdb1 now we have a edb file here and inside the g drive we have mbdb log here is the log folder if you recheck it you can see the file name the database name has been renamed and the path of our database like edb file and log folder is also been changed to a different location now it would be easy to take a backup like if you want to take a backup of a complete volume you can just take a backup of this volume and if you want to take a log folder a backup you can take a complete backup of this volume so guys I hope you get the point like why it is important to rename and move the database and now you know how to rename and move the database to a different location so please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos and let's meet in the next video